Hi, my name is Kevin Williams. I'm the producer of this video. I just want to tell you a little story that happened about four and a half years ago. It prompted this uh, this movie. Uh, I was sharing with fellow Christians my convictions about about abortion, and uh, they started to, Christians were telling me that they felt that abortion was wrong, morally wrong, and a sin, except in the case of of rape and incest, and it's allowable. And I was driving down this mountain road. I'd, it was really bothering me. I hadn't really thought it out yet. I was new. I hadn't read a single pro-life book yet other than the scriptures. And it occurred to me I just hadn't s simply asked God. So while driving down this mountain road, I prayed this prayer. I said, Father, what about children who are conceived in rape and incest? And I was totally un unprepared for what happened next. Is, And I have a hard time talking about it or describing it it just felt like a river of love just started washing through me just almost incapacitating love and it just flowed and it, for just a minute or so I don't know that long but I wept and I wept and I wept and and uh, I came away f with this with the the knowledge it, no words are spoken or but I just knew that this great love that God has for these children and that there's something special about these children. And that's the point of this, of this documentary. We really want to get this out. A few days after this experience I had on the road, uh, I was, was at night I was asleep. And I was woke up uh, from a sound sleep. And it wasn't really a vision. It wasn't a voice. It was just I just woke up with a certainty, this like an undaunted resolve that God is going to get this message out to masses of people and the emphasis was that God is going to do this it was so powerful so strong that I actually remember thinking am I going to have anything to do with this at all and uh, he get, God gave me a verse says, they that believe shall not make haste and it's been four and a half years and and I've a couple false stabs at it just timing wasn't right but uh, now it's all come together we've been pushing against open doors Lord has been moving and working, opening up opportunities for interviews, and it's been wonderful to see God, God at work. Um, I was in front of Planned Parenthood. Everybody knows I'm there all the time. Every every abortion day, I'm there. I think I missed like three days and two and a half years of being there on abortion day that wasn't working. But uh, there's a gal there that used to come faithfully every Friday and pray. And one day she asked me, she said, Kevin, what is it that fuels your passion for pro-life? And, and I told her this story about being on that mountain road and how the Lord revealed that children and their conceived in rape and incest are, are special gifts from God. And she kept wiping tears at, and looking at me funny. And and uh, when I got home, I, she sent me this email. She said, hi, Kevin. I want to say thank you. I'm not sure if you're aware that I met my birth mother over Easter. I know I've told you about being adopted. What I wanted to say was, your testimony about how God converted your soul to pro-life really helped me see my life through the eyes of someone who does not judge. My birth mother was raped. And when she told me, I questioned, why does God want me to know this now? How powerful your words were to me about children of rape being gifts from God. I've learned a lot about being adopted and now about the suffering of victims of rape. Their children do bring them peace and healing. God has grand plans for those who choose to hear His will.